prior to commencing stifle arthroscopy, it is important that the surgical table is organized, the equipment needed is present, and that that equipment is well set up. As you can see from the table below, we have 18 gauge needles, which are required to both allow arthrocentesis and distension of the joint. Sterile empty syringe to collect joint fluid, a syringe with saline to distend the joint. We then have an 11 blade to allow the arthroscopic portals to be made, a straight hemostat to allow distension of the portals. We have joint probes, so once we enter into the joint, we have distraction levers to allow manipulation of the joint and increase our exposure. The arthroscope cannula and obturator are present and in order to allow some limited low wattage coagulation inside the joint, we use a specialized insertion tip. That insertion tip is applied to a standard cautery pencil. The spatula tip can be removed and the specialized tip inserted. Placing the right angle of the tip opposite to the activation buttons makes this process smoother. Present also is the shaver. It's important with a small joint shaver, one has several different shaver options. The most common option that we use is the four millimeter torpedo. The opening of the torpedo should be placed in the opposite direction to the suction control lever. This can be inserted by placing the shaver into position and can be controlled by either hand control or foot control. Also present on the table is a series of different hand instruments. A slender grasper, alligator grasper, slender punch and standard punch are highly recommended. Prior to commencing arthroscopy, it is important to position the foot pedal control for the shaver system in an easy, accessible and open place. Fluid control will be important. Use of a fluid diamond or suction system will also allow for floor fluid to be collected and minimize theater contamination and mess.